VIPs cast in gasket profiles for segmentally lined tunnels provide a faster, more accurate and cleaner alternative to glued-in gaskets. By eliminating the need for adhesives and removing extra installation processes, they are rapidly becoming the preferred choice of designers and precasters. VIP's cast-in gaskets are manufactured to a precise tolerance to match the specific dimensions and corner angles of each mould that makes up the ring set. Before work can begin, it is essential that the mould is dry and free from any dirt, dust and any residual concrete left over from previous use. Particular attention must be paid to the gasket mould groove. Keeping the mould sides open prevents any dirt or excess concrete from collecting in the mould. Once clean, releasing wax is applied to the base and sides of the mould. This ensures that the concrete segment does not stick to the mould and get damaged during opening. The wax is distributed evenly around the entire mould and fittings appendages prior to closing the sides of the mould. The correct corresponding gasket is selected for the segment mould using the markings printed on the gasket and placed within the mould. Yellow markers on the gasket legs are placed into the right-hand corners of the mould with the markers facing upwards. This ensures that the gasket is located correctly in the mould and the legs are in the correct orientation, facing upwards. Installation of the gasket into the mould groove can begin, starting with knocking in the four corners. Once the corners have been knocked into the mould groove, installation of the gasket sides can begin, starting with the longest sides of the mould and using a rubber mallet. The gasket is knocked tightly into the mould groove, starting at the midway point and working outwards towards the corners. The installer physically inspects the gasket while knocking it into the mould groove to ensure it is correctly located. For very large segments that require longer lengths of gasket between the corners, it can be split into four smaller sections, starting with the midway point and then splitting it into quarters. Once the longest sides are located into the mould groove, installation of the shorter lengths can begin, following the same method. The gasket is inspected visually with the aid of a mirror to ensure that it is secured into the mould groove around the entire perimeter of the segment mould while also checking that the gasket legs are correctly orientated and facing upwards. Checks are also made for any isolated rippling or bunching of the gasket in the corners and adjustments are made if necessary. Once the inspection has been completed and any alterations made, all other fixings are installed into the mould. These are installed after the gasket in order to allow sufficient room to knock the gasket into the mould groove during installation. Once all fittings are installed, a final inspection is made to the fittings and gasket prior to pouring the concrete, ensuring they are securely connected and that the gasket is correctly installed into the mould groove and in the correct orientation. After the gasket and fittings have been inspected, the mould lids are closed and locked shut, ready for the concrete to be poured. While pouring the concrete, the mould is vibrated allowing the concrete to distribute evenly in the mould and removing any air bubbles. Once the concrete has started to cure, the mould lids are opened and the exposed face of the segment is smoothed. The lids are then cleaned of any excess concrete and releasing oil is applied in preparation for the next casting. The lids are pulled down but remain open to aid the concrete to set. Once the concrete has set, the mould is opened, revealing the segment. 
It is then taken to a holding area and stacked. The segment and gasket can now be inspected for any irregularities. If any concrete is present on the sides or face of the gasket, it is removed by carefully scraping it. Sharp edges are removed using a grinding stone and any protruding steel reinforcing fibers are clipped. Once inspected, signed off segments are labeled and loaded onto a trailer before being taken into the storage yard and located. Segments are left in the storage yard for at least 28 days prior to delivery to site. Once the segments are required on site, they are picked using the corresponding information on the labels and loaded onto awaiting trailers, ready to be collected before being transported to site.